ride it so bad. Oh man, I wanna 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 ride it so bad. What's up, guys? <laughs> and welcome back to the channel. It's Juice MC, and we are in Oregon. This is the first day in Oregon. It's a lot of bullshit, man. I told you yesterday at 11.34 before I even turned the second day. Do the video now, but you're too fucking lazy to do that shit. And that's besides the point if I'm lazy or not, we're here. We got Dan Dan. What's up? Let's see if this shit works, finally. It works? I'm using my hotspot. Oh. Hey, do they have a Springfield sign? So it's the second day, and we landed at Daniel's new pad. What's up? Yo, so we could get some fine weed right here, bro. Delicious. And we got some buzz bugs. I made my burrito, and we gotta drink that Polo loco. And I'm gonna pass out in my car. Yeah, basically we're celebrating Daniel getting in his new house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little attachment right here <coughs> for my pistol. Even got the laser sight. It doesn't work though. I need batteries. But when it does, <coughs> show you better watch out. This is the Western Aeroplane and Automotive Museum in Oregon. It's one of the largest car and plane museums in Oregon. It has two warehouses full of planes and cars and old antique weapons from World War I and II. Uh, this was a piss out before going to Tunnel Falls. We were already driving for hours, but we want to like, stretch our legs and, you know, come look in the museum and see some cool stuff like this plane. This plane was pretty huge. When we go inside it, it, it had these small buckets. I would not want to ride in that. That did not look safe. But yeah, we came here to get some knickknacks. It looks like these guys that got lost. After checking out Google Map, realizing that Tunnel Falls is like a section in this trail. Their actual trail name is called Eagle Creek, and it's like section. So we were looking for Tunnel Falls, and we ended up in the middle of nowhere. The road we took was not really a road. It was just dirt. I was wondering how sedans and vans and other little cars was getting up here. I'm like, wait a minute. We in the middle of nowhere. We we were lost. That's Mount Hood right there. You can see, look, look. We're in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere near Tunnel Falls. That's a section in the trail. Well, they figured out. Yeah. 
day three in Oregon, and we were supposed to be in the middle of fog, and we ended up in the middle of nowhere. I think we took the wrong turn. I Google goes the wrong address. What do you think? I might live out here, man. I already feel like I'm I got my bro. If we go starving, I can eat this guy. You okay with that? Hell no. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this pimple right here. Yeah, look at that pimple. I think we we might be on a trail. <laughs> like, on a, no we'll way. Be, like on a walking trail. Really? Yeah. Because if we go up, it says Indian Trail number 316. Hmm. But I didn't see any navigation here, you know? You still, yeah. Dang, we really got lost. And, and I looked at the directions to go back home, and it says go back down that way. A piece. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? You're gonna have to go back down there. safari tour seeing some animals Do this taste good uh, what the fuck yay yo check out these black bears Dang, how does this make you feel? <laughs> okay, we were talking about this in the car. So, yo, what's up? It's day six. And where are we at today? Uh, we're at the largest sea cave in Oregon. Founded in 1932, I think. Opened in 1932. Opened in 1932. Yeah. This old man called William Cock. Yeah. Uh, he bought the place. He found it, and it took him a few years, and this is it. Now we're what plus what 80 years? Pretty much. Plus 90 years. There it is. And now we're here, and uh, we haven't seen the cave yet. But I, I heard is I heard a lot of good things about it. Yeah, but we're heading down to a sea lion cave. Where it's no sea lions down there at the time, but most of the time that's where all the sea lions. Uh, is that the breeding ground? I don't know, but they're there. So they but got two dollars off though. Two dollars off because there's no sea lions. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Three families used to own. Yeah, two dollars off, but no sea lions. What's the point? It's a cool cave though. They have this world where you can come back. And can see the sea lions when they're there. But uh, when I'm going to be back in Oregon, you know? So I gave my ticket to Daniel. He'll get in for free. Lucky ass bastard. Ah. Uh, yeah. Look at it. It's the Oregon coast. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? 
from the end. I can still taste the salt in the water. The water there was very, very, very salty. Look at the lighthouse. Beautiful. Man. Look at this view. This might be one of the best dating sub laws you might ever see in a minute. This height was in the law. Actually, this reminds me of a, a dodge specific event. Actually, question. Do you just get in there? Yeah. The shake throw for you. Is that a call for me? I gotta know. If you guys know, put it in the comments. Use it in the neck, and then I she will give you neck. She throw a ball over you. But anywho, yeah, the Chicos really had a blast in Oregon. This was the last day in Oregon. They're chilling, hanging out. You know, they end up going to a, a fish restaurant. And the fishing chips juice had uh, fried oysters. They came out like shit because when I bit into the oyster, the, it had green shit in the middle and it pissed me off. But I didn't pay for it, so I had to eat it. Oh, laddie, I got out of respect, you know. It was looking out for me. But it actually pissed me off. But this is one of the regulars and it means to a log that I have ever seen. I'm going to leave y'all with the view. But the part they want. <laughs>